Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back here to my live stream here on Wednesday night from 7.30 to midnight British summer time on beam.pro forward slash Simon Parsons. And that was for my guest, because I have a guest today, and no, it's not taught, at least not yet. Say hello, April. Hello, April. There we go. She's obedient, if nothing else. <laughs> Yeah, April was really, really excited to uh, to see uh, me play the game that we were going to play this evening, Deadly Premonition. But unfortunately, uh, it's kind of contracted a case of not actually working. Now, there's yeah. a patch that I need to download. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't know about that until, well, a little bit before we were going live. So... Yeah. <laughs> I, thought we'd, I thought we'd play this instead. I hope you guys won't mind a little bit of Science Girls because <laughs> everyone seemed to like it the last time we played especially for the music which is so good so good oh yes so good did you want to share your screen or am I watching on the oh so terribly sorry that's okay alright let me uh, let me share a screen so you can see and then and an added a bonus that you can't hear the music <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, right, so, um, sorry to hear about your toasty, uh, your toasty hard disk and Chrissy Toff, that happens far more often than I'd care to admit, to be totally honest with you. Mm. Um, can you hear me? Actually, Hello! <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I actually <laughs> looked up the mod remind me to send you the link later. Thank you very much. That'll be most useful. Might mean that I get around to playing it as well, which I'll probably do this um the next Saturday live stream, which will not be this weekend but the weekend after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're interested, you're welcome to come along as well because it is an American friendly times. It is the best game in the world and I will absolutely do my best to be there. <laughs> no. It's the worst game in the world, and that's what it's, makes it enjoyable. It's amazing. It is It is exquisitely terrible <laughs> in the best way. Well, I personally think it's the Plan 9 of From Outer Space of uh, computer games. Uh, it's <laughs> that good, guys. It's that good. But this one's going to be good, too. Uh, Minosha, never buy green drives, okay? A green drive means that it's not good enough quality to spin at full speed. <laughs> That's the reason why they spin it slower. All right. Okay. So where were we last time? When we left off, we just defeated the first boss, and we were about to enter the portal into the aliens' dimension. The aliens, if you guys remember right, and I'm sure you do, the aliens were um, attacking this girls' school because they needed hair for nesting materials. Yep. Pizza is the girl's name, our, our, our fearless <laughs> yeah. leader, Pizza, named by popular vote, and I should learn not to do that, really, shouldn't I? Uh, the <laughs> yeah, game. I was <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, April. Yes, the, the game that we're not playing today is Deadly Premonition. It was the one that won. Uh, I will pick that one out another day because I, I so wanted to play that for you guys. It's so terrible. It's so enjoyable. And if you like Twin Peaks, that's an added bonus, yeah. so make sure you sit in. Yeah, it's based upon Twin Peaks. Um, Twin Peaks, if any, all the good bits were removed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, last time round, we defeated the boss. Now we need to go and get some supplies before we can uh, go and into the portal and into the alien's world. So what we need to do is we need to head back up to the top and go to the storeroom. We're attacked by a pair of plumbops. <laughs> okay, so, um, I see, remember, I prefer to use the keyboards for this. Keagles? Keyboard. Oh, God, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> There's a Keagles? Actually, that's a little bit too loud for me. Let's just turn the music down while we've got a second. Okay. Oh, I remember. This goes from very loud out to nothing. Uh-oh. 
you just add the life is beautiful theme behind it. I think I'm going to do nothing because that was actually getting painful. Right. Okay. I'll add some music later on, perhaps. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> who have we got in the front row? We have. Um, we have Heather. Uh, oh, this is Nicole, and who who else do we have? I I can't remember. I actually I can't remember most of the voices here. I'll tell you what, April. Do you want to split the voices with me? Hello, sure. Mega Racer. Okay, so your stream right now. There we go. Okay, so if I do Heather, Pizza, and Nicole, you can do Andrea, Missy, and Jennifer. And I can't remember what they sounded like, so just make it up as you go in along. To be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jab at plumber one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they, this is a bit that you're not going to see here, unfortunately. But they they make the most wonderful sounds when they're attacking. It's uh, uh, one of the guys. Nyan and. Nyan <laughs> <laughs> is the sound that a cat uh, makes when they meow. Yep. Oh, you know uh, that you're an anime nerd yeah. like me. Yep. <laughs> Um, um, many sorts of nerds, to be totally honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. There she goes again. Right, Yay. victory! Okay, so. We've defeated the Plumbops. Is this the one? Nope. Back in here. Go up. Into the hallway. Uh, there you go. That's the storeroom. Heather starts like gathering. Clue. Sorry? It looks like a clue, uh, a clue board. Or Cluedo, I think you call it there. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yes, very much so. And Minosha, uh, if anyone ever complains about you saying Nyan to your cats, just tell them that you're trying to teach them a foreign language. <laughs> Heather starts gathering up supplies. Got supplies! Yay! Ooh. Um, I've forgotten who's going to do that voice. I'm uh, doing Jennifer, Missy, and Andrea. Glad somebody's paying attention. So, in which case, I'm doing Heather. Um, and what should we do with the Heather? Um, I almost forgot I had these. <laughs> While we look for rope and flashlights, she busies herself trying to assemble something complicated. That's one of mine as well, isn't it? Uh, Missy is me. Oh, go for it. I think. <laughs> what are you doing? Building a weapon. <laughs> Are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. I need more time. What are you building? <laughs> An oxygen mask, fortunately. <laughs> it's a ballista. Well, most of one at least. <laughs> Heather's consumed. We haven't done an auto trio thing in too long, have we? I know, right? <laughs> Heather's construction projects often take much longer than expected, and everybody's getting impatient. Bring the parts with us then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to put up a disclaimer when I put this up on YouTube. Yeah, do you remember what they sounded like in the last episode? Well, we didn't, so we just made it up as we're going along. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sydney. To oh, the hallway. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Okay. So now, right. We need to go out. <laughs> and are we ready to go to the portal through to the alien world? All we need is Laura, absolutely, and hopefully, her uh, internet connection is now working fine, and we'll be yep. able to start doing some recording soon. Yep. Her internet uh, was working as of yesterday. Yeah. Um, well, we've got all week for somebody to put a spade through the cable again. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Through the intertubes. No, through the portal. <laughs> we stand before the portal nervously. Is there any way to test if this is safe? She says, throwing Missy through it. Uh, I'll do that uh, one. That's, okay, that's, yeah, that that's is me. me. That is me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and, ladies and gentlemen, not really. I could go through first and then come back. I thought I threw you through it anyway. <laughs> but if you didn't come back, we wouldn't know if you were hurt or trapped in the other side, or had just gone poof. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, right. 
We should all hold hands and jump together. No, I said hands. Get your hand off that. <laughs> to be sure no one gets lost. And don't touch the edges. Why not? <laughs> the gradient between normal space-time and whatever that is could be unpredictable. Like an improbability engine? That's unlikely. <laughs> sort of. Cool. We'll all turn into sentient spaghetti and wind up in last week. What do you mean, sentient spaghetti? All spaghetti is sentient. <laughs> That's why we've got to eat it to keep it down. <laughs> That's really not a good idea. Okay, don't let go, don't touch the sides, be prepared for anything, and don't cross the streams. Are we ready? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, is it actually possible to be ready for anything? Because if you haven't thought of elephants... Right, Missy's going first. <laughs> Just kick her in. <laughs> ready. Ooh, sexy Jennifer. <laughs> Um, that's you. That's me. What did I do? Oh, it was, I it guess. Was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I want to see what's on the other side. Yeah. Her name's actually Frank. Yeah. <laughs> we grab a hold of each other. One, two, three, jump. We tumble into the portal. It's not a gate, it's a long tunnel. Lights spin dizzyingly all around us. Not stars, but something else born of the strange depths of space-time through which the aliens have somehow tunneled. I bounce off an invisible barrier, and Jennifer's hand is torn from my grasp. Ew. Ew. Well, it could be worse. It could be Jennifer being torn from her grasp and the hand remaining. Yeah. <laughs> I land with a jarring thud on something vaguely soft. Would you please get off? I am attached to those. I blink and open my eyes. I'm not sure what I expected, but this definitely wasn't it. A tangy taste of electricity permeates the air. A chill breeze ruffles my skirt, makes ripples, I read that wrong, um, makes ripples in the low rounded, not quite grass underfoot. Where is this word? I'm not going to say what I read, but it had an N. What are the shifting discharges in the sky? I hear someone say, wow, in a low voice. It takes a moment for me to realize that it was my voice. Ooh, this is so cool. I'm on a real alien planet. Did everyone land okay? <laughs> yup. That was loads of fun. I wish amusement park rides were like that. Maybe if you're smaller... No, wait, that's oh, me. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. That. That's okay. <laughs> I'm Simon, Maybe. stealer of lines. <laughs> Maybe if you're small enough, yeah, no, maybe if you're small enough, that landing on rocks doesn't really hurt. <laughs> Cockney <laughs> foul <Sorry>. voice. <laughs> it's not my fault you're too tall for wormhole rides. Uh, mine? That's, yep, that's you. That's. that's that's not Ellen. Ellen, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other the other one is like the really high pitched Ellen, mm. and then this one's Ellen. <laughs> I'm ter I'm just terribly sorry. I'm feeling a little confused. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> um, I'll probably have a, I'll probably have a couple of bruises for a while, but nothing that won't heal. That's the high-pitched element. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was just, just, just coming to that conclusion myself. Where's the portal? It's behind you. <laughs> we turn to see. Strange lights move over a small structure beside the portal. There's something strange about that. I think it's the lights dancing over it. She blinks. She misses it. 
Those triangles shouldn't be possible, unless that thing is twisted through other dimensions itself. That might be what controls the portal! <laughs> so how do we turn it off? That's slowly turning into Rena. <laughs> we walk towards the portal. Looks like, looks like the guards are here. A pair of stealth balls are bouncing towards us. <laughs> I guess the tough ones are all on Earth. <laughs> Alright, it's fighting time. Oh, these ones are really, these ones are really, really annoying because they breed. And we oh. need to get somebody in the front. We need people in the front with area effect spells. So, hmm. um, and of course, I can't remember who has what special powers, but. Uh, I'm sure we will find out. <laughs> uh, so that one is that, okay. That one is an explosion of flame which engulfs monsters. Let's do that. Oh, swap you out for. I think Heather is one of them. Okay, and Heather has specials, better slingshot, fires protections at all enemies. We'll be using that a lot because that gets rid of the little things that guy summons. And okay. let's do that. Splat. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, what's that? Ooh. They're new. <laughs> okay, so, right, let's... I don't think you're the one we want. No, okay, you're good, but we don't want you just... Oh, get off. <laughs> um, so we're we're going to swap you out, and I think the person we want is Jennifer, because she is not the one we want. So we'll swap you out for well, Nicole's not it, Pizza's not it. Okay, right. Um, let's just do one of your specials then. Nerve pinch. See if we can paralyze one of these stealth a stealth ball. Ah, that did a lot of damage actually. That's quite good. It didn't paralyze it. <laughs> Okay, so you must be the... Yeah, here we go. Risk analysis. Nice. Identify monster. Okay, a type spiked ball. Stealth ball 2. Type spiked ball. 33 hit points. Special attacks. Mirror retaliate. Oh, that sounds nasty. Uh -huh. Meow! Meow! I will stop. No, I was going to say I will stop doing the specials, but the truth of the matter is, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Okay, so right. Oh, actually, yeah, that that one, that first one, just died quickly because it was a, uh, um, it was uh, a, a, an illusion. Hmm. Okay, so any okay. damage disrupts the illusions. It's Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to swap you out for. Andrea, yep. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a big. Oh, yeah. Andrea's the chemist. No, oh, okay. This is a nice area, a couple of nice area yeah. effects. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and. <laughs> All right. So first aid. That's what I want. So who needs healing for most? Um, Andrea, by the looks of it. So let's heal you up. There we go. Arigato, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so terrible. Uh, right, so uh, actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap you out for Nicole with her fireball spell, and let's do some real damage. <laughs> that's not a fireball. That's a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they actually these guys are much tougher than we were used to. Uh welcome back, Melody Buster. Um So right. Yep. Yeah. Stink bomb Bam. One down. Oh no. I thought we killed one. Okay. Alright, never mind. Ow, sorry, I bumped uh. my desk. <laughs> Ooh, it's a terrible thing to happen to anyone. <laughs> uh, first aid on Heather, I think. Here we go. Uh, it's got people a bit healed up. Yeah, you see that? That mirror, I think, yeah. is going to be an illusion thing. So we're going to just want to stick a, an area effect spell on them. Special. 
That's a lot of spell points, and I don't think Nicole has it. So what I'm going to oh, do is I'm yes, going to swap her much. out. And I'm going to swap her out for Heather. And you can use the slingshot there. And that gets rid of the illusions. So now, hopefully, we can just hit this thing. Oh, two points of damage. That was a waste of time. Uh, you can do it. Kick. Yeah. It's more like it. Victory! I do miss... Yeah, I do miss the music on this game. It's great. It's just too loud. Oh. Arigato, meow! I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think we found Shizzy's level on this one. Ha, 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 ha.